Hello everyone, welcome to Electrics Lab. Today's video is about interfacing an OLED display using I2C with the STM32. The display I'll be using is the SSD 1306 128 by 64 OLED display. Let's create a project. I am using the STM32F103CBT6MCU. I am enabling the external crystal for the clock. Serial wire debug. I am setting the MCU to operate at its maximum clock speed. Go to the connectivity tab and open the I2C interface. The SCL and SDA pins will be automatically selected. Select the fast mode in I2C, as it is required for the OLED display. Let's save the project and generate the code. Next, we need to include some library files. You can download the library file using the link in the description. I found these library files on the controller's tech site. Copy the C files to the source folder and the header files to the include folder. Here, include the required libraries. First, let's initialize the OLED display using the SSD 1306 init function to set up the display. Next, we'll set the cursor position to the top left corner. Now, let's display the text on the screen. After setting the text on the display buffer, we need to refresh the screen to make the changes visible on the OLED display. Let's add some movement by scrolling the text to the left and right.
Delay for 3 seconds to allow the scrolling effect to be visible. Stop the scrolling effect. Next, clear the display using the SSD1306 clear function. Finally, let's display a bitmap image on the OLED using the SSD1306 draw bitmap function. I included my bitmap data array in the ing.h header file. You can generate a CPP image array using the image to CPP site, the link is in the description. Put the display width and high. Make sure you have your bitmap data ready. Update the screen to show the bitmap. Make sure to update the I2C address and display resolution according to your display. Connect the OLED display and STM32 board according to the diagram I have provided. Debug and upload the code. You've successfully interfaced an OLED display with your STM32 microcontroller using the I2C protocol. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.